for today's video, I'll be using the CO2 fire extinguisher tank based cannon with the electronically controlled three quarter inch solenoid valve. I fitted the 72 inch long caliber 812 barrel and this TV will be receiving a hard cast alloy lead slug. After a couple of weeks of no luck, I finally got another uh, crappy old free TV from work. This is the first TV I've had since I got my second slow motion video camera. So in this video I'll be able to have a uh, slow motion view of the front and the back of this 23 inch uh, Sanyo being popped. What's nice about this TV is, although it came from the junk pile, power still works on it and it will come up. I'll be able to shoot it to running, which will be perfect. What I'm going to do to prepare it is remove the back of the TV and I will cut the implosion band to try and get a better pop. I've got the back off, so now I'll proceed to cut the implosion band and then the TV will be ready for this popping video. I've cut the implosion band at the top of the CRT. Hopefully this will be good enough for a nice pop. I'll set this thing up and proceed. Here's a quick look of the slug being closed into the breech in preparation for popping the TV. There we go. Here's a quick look at the setup in the target area. As usual, I have a good solid backup, backstop, made today of uh, very large pieces of pine wood, uh, six inches thick, some are four by sixes, some are six by eights, and there's a six by twelve in there as well. Also I have many sheets of plywood and particle board. There's no way uh, a slug is going to get away and cause any harm. I have two non-flicker LED work lights set up that make great lights for the slow motion cameras, no flicker. And there are two slow motion cameras here, one looking at the front of the screen, the other will be looking at the back of the TV as the slug and all the flying glass hopefully come out the back. Well, we're now ready for this TV. Well, it appears that we hit the TV, but I still hear some high voltage squealing. Unbelievably, this TV is still electrically active and it's hissing away like mad. I'm going to go poke it with the chicken stick in a minute if it stays running and see if I can find an arc in this wreckage. 
Unfortunately, this time I couldn't get it to arc for the camera. As soon as I poked with the chicken stick, there was a brief arc, and then the whole thing quit. I guess this TV did have some sort of a safety circuit that worked in a belated manner. Oh well, it was still a good pop, even if I couldn't get to... 10 or 15 minutes worth of arcing uh, after the shot. Thanks for watching, and as always, there'll be more to come. There's a quick look at the recovered lead slug that went through the TV and embedded itself in a uh, three-quarter inch thick particle board piece of backstop. Slug mushroomed nicely uh, against the glass of the TV. Definitely did a good job. On this particular CRT, cutting the implosion band seemed to work quite well. The entire front center of the screen was blown out the back and there's very little of the picture tube left in the frame of the TV. All in all, an excellent poppage.